We really like board games in my house, and we have a pretty good collection. But the problem is that a lot of these are not very self-contained, and they're not very portable. And so today I'm going to take one of these, condense it down into a single box, contains everything, and makes it portable. Today I'm going to take this lesser known game called All Queen's Chess, which is kind of a hybrid between chess and Connect Four, and I'm going to create a self-contained unit that has the box, the board, and the pieces all together. To start the design of this project, I'm first modeling it up in Fusion 360. That way I have a three-dimensional model and can take a look at how it looks in three-dimensional space to make sure that I have all my components set up properly. From there, I'll pull out the measurements and I'm gonna use this free program maker case to create the finger jointed sides of the box. And then the last part of the design process is bringing everything into Illustrator finalizing all the dimensions, setting up the boards, and then sending that SVG file to Illustrator. I pre-sanded down these eighth inch pieces of plywood with a 220 grit sandpaper. I found that sometimes I get a little bit better cut and because I'm going to be spray painting these after, I'm hoping that'll give me a little bit nicer finish um, right after they cut. So I'm gonna put this in and we'll start our cut. I guarantee there's at least one piece in here that did not cut all the way through. Let's uh, see. Not too bad right there. Oh. Might've got lucky. Oh, there's a lot of smoke. I'm gonna leave that closed for a little while longer. Here's the pieces from one board, all finished. I have the second board loaded up. Now we get to start this one. All the pieces are cut out, but I do need to do some post-processing. I need to do some sanding, some painting, and I also need to do one more bit with the laser, which is engraving a pattern on these pieces right here. I wanted to do this all at once when it was still in the Glowforge, but I had an issue with lining up the engrave after the cut. For some reason, the camera did not want to line up exactly where it was before. So I'm going to paint them first, then engrave them, and then see if I could do the gold highlighting in that pattern. Um, we'll see what happens. Now, if it doesn't work, I can simply flip it over and try it on the opposite side. With the engraving and the painting done, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the core of the box. The glue I'm using for this is this white, clear Gorilla Glue. I found with the cauterized ends of the plywood with the laser that this glue holds a lot better than traditional wood glue. Glue's been drying for a while now. And let me go ahead and remove my high-end clamping jig. There it is. The box isn't weak by any means right now. It's actually fairly sturdy for only being eighth inch material. But each new piece I add in here will make it just a little bit stronger. So now I have to add in these inside pieces that will give that purple contrast and create the rails for the lid to slide on.
The project is almost done, but there's still two more things needed. I have the box and the playfield done, but now I need the pieces. For the pieces, I modeled them up in Blender and 3D printed them. They came out pretty good, but I don't have any purple color filament, so I'm printing half of them in white and then spraying them purple. The last detail needed is to have a foam insert cut for the inside of the box to hold the pieces. I'm using a piece of EVA foam, and I'm just going to laser cut it, and it should hold the pieces just fine. Even though the majority of the project was laser cut, there's a lot of time that still went into the design and planning for the project, as well as modeling the pieces and then printing them out. There's also a lot of time that went into the testing of different tolerances for the slide top box, which I've made several different slide top boxes that were laser cut at this point. If you'd like to make one of your own, I have all the design files available on Patreon at patreon.com slash geekbuilders. And we also have t-shirts available like this one that you can check out at geekbuilders.net. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you check back often. Hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you can see when the new videos come out. And don't forget to design, make, and play. And I'll see you in the future. Speaking of playing, I think you need to test this out. Again.